Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we'll talk about how to deploy a Node.js or web application to DigitalOcean server using PM2. Please subscribe my channel for more such videos on project setup and development tutorials. Please don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated and receive notification on latest uploads. For this video, we'll be using a VPS, which is basically a virtual private server. And I got mine from a digital ocean. But uh, you may have it from AWS or Linode, but uh, the process is the same everywhere. To avail a $100 credit or digital ocean credit, you can use the link I have added to the description of this video. Let's start by installing Nginx web server, basically Nginx and uh, we are using this uh, because it provides a reverse proxy which is what we need for our node.js applications so apache we don't have that feasibility i am using ubuntu system and uh, all you need to do is uh, abdicate install nginx that's what i really take care of for uh, the installation and setup in case if you end up with an error like this for my case which is basically 404 and it's not able to find any package link to Eng uh, nginx uh, it's, it's basically happens when uh, you kind of uh, configured a new uh, instance or else a droplet uh, so all you need to do is update the current packages that are available so for that uh, all you do is apt-get update uh, for Ubuntu of course so this will take care of for uh, updating the existing packages and any reference and other bits once this is done we'll install our nginx server for that we'll just hit um, apt install nginx that will install and configure our nginx and it will also add any dependencies and all that bits once the process is finished, you can verify the uh, version uh, nginx hi, uh, space hyphen v. Current stable version is 1.14, but depending on when you are seeing it and uh, date basis, so you may find different version. As nginx web server is installed, you will be able to see the dummy page uh, by viewing the uh, IP address that will give you the default page uh, that comes with nginx web server now let's install pm2 pm2 is a process manager for javascript runtime uh, node.js and uh, it basically processes uh, your application in the background so let's say it, it kind of takes care of it in the background phase uh, running your node.js application pm2 offers a lot more apart from um, processing it uh, it kind of gives you load balancing feasibilities um, watching logs and monitor performance and quite a good amount of it and uh, it has to be installed uh, for a system and not just for an application uh, but for this video we'll just cover the basics and uh, maybe in later some video we'll try to see how we can kind of uh, check all of its functionalities but for pm2 to be installed we need to ensure that npm and node is installed right uh, so you can cross verify by typing npm space hyphen v uh, Ubuntu by default gives you if at all a package is not installed so, um, related command which will help you install npm or, or whichever the package is may so be uh, but by default when you're installing npm it uh, automatically installs uh, node uh, it, it, it certainly installs the latest stable version so like you don't have to kind of uh, install it separately as it continues installing, I wanted to request you to kind of subscribe my channel. Uh, it, it kind of motivates us as a creator to continue making more such videos and help you uh, in a fashion possible. If you want uh, to interact with me personally uh, for let's say any project or any uh, doubts or clarifications that you need, you can join my Patreon channel. I'll put the link in description. 
okay so it's almost done uh, you can verify or check the version okay so that's there and the uh, node should also be installed you can kind of type in node space hyphen v that will show you the version which is currently installed fine okay If you see the installation log, you will see a good amount of node packages are also installed because node by default gets installed when you are installing npm. npm is basically a package manager for javascripts. Okay, now let's install uh, pm2. Uh, so you'll notice uh, hyphen g is appended to it. It's basically that uh, it's adding pm2 globally, not just for this project, but uh, globally so that you can use anywhere within the system. Uh, this process may take some time uh, but uh, once it's installed we can uh, kind of uh, run the same step basically check the current version along with that we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get few other information so you can see the pm2 is installed and it gives us few commands that we can utilize let's say the basic command to run a project uh, basically uh, uh, enable that then we upload balancing uh, how we can configure it uh, uh, the particular application to run on multiple instances uh, with the uh, traffic being taken care of uh, by pm2 uh, that is a bit advanced we can do it later so there's one more command which you will be needing is let's say pm2 list pm2 show list basically lists out all the uh, application that we have configured with pm2 okay now let's go ahead and create a project uh, directory uh, so for this i'll create one directory called uh, node.js under triple w directory which gets created when you install any web server let it be apache or uh, nginx with the directory being created uh, we need uh, node.js application for this i use uh, default express.js script uh, express.js uh, uh, starter kit or the basic uh, hello world application uh, that we'll be able to show you. Now, Express.js is basically a web application framework for Node.js, so it it kinds of uh, gives you a structure, uh, routing, and other small middleware uh, contents are also added. To install uh, Express.js, same you have to use npm. Uh, but I'm I'm assuming uh, that you already have. Or your Node.js application project, uh, so you can skip this bit. Uh, for 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 the time being, I'm just using our uh, Express generator and uh, create a project so that I can show you how you can kind of configure and uh, make the application live. Okay, with Express generator uh, installed, I can simply create a project. Uh, using express uh, generator so they have a uh, certain configurations which is uh, type in express and then specify uh, the view uh, basically what uh, templating engine do you want to use so they provide uh, Z uh, bug and a uh, few others so you'll be able to see a list of our templating engine that they provide along with that CSS engine. We'll go for the bug and uh, uh, for CSS we'll go for SASS. Uh, if you're not specifying any uh, uh, flag, the defaults are considered. So that's good. Uh, let's just create a project directory as in project uh, we will specify a separate directory which is basically uh, the project uh, name 
so that will create another directory under node.js so we'll continue creating few other projects uh, in our later videos under the same directory but yeah it totally depends on how you want it so that's a different thing okay i'll name it as demo so with that command it basically created a project structure where it has a public directory uh, where we can have the uh, javascripts and other things uh, so it gave you a rough idea how you can kind of uh, install and run the project uh, that that's that's what uh, express is uh, kind of uh, giving us those with that's just different when you were doing it locally you can use that but uh, when you want it to be uh, deployed to a server you certainly can just go ahead and do an npm start because that will create a process but uh, th that actually is on the front side and that doesn't work on the back background so we need something which is in the background processes okay the package.json has this dependencies installed so what you need to do is you kind of install uh, your packages so if you are kind of um, uploading your project via F, um, a file gila or something like that uh, you have to ensure that you go down to that uh, project directory and do an npm install so that all the dependencies or packages that you need for this project are installed uh, on the on your Ubuntu system and the project specific directory okay this will take some time oh you can use git as well uh, like if you are on like yeah, filezilla is fine but you definitely want to keep a log of uh, the files that you're updating so git is a decent approach and if you uh, I'll, I'll try to cover that in a different video uh, basically how you can kind of um, uh, do a git pull directly instead of uploading via uh, filezilla okay so if you see the app.js file it kind of shows it has a basic route and then a separate user route then takes care of partial uh, like it has the basic middle which is uh, json um, parsing and uh, the small things uh, a normal basic application that you can work with for the time being okay now if you kind of go down to the main triple w that is where the actual uh, uh, port and other configurations are available so here the port uh, is being taken from the process env file uh, or the process environment variables and if you are not giving anything it takes the default 3000 now it may so happen that you have multiple uh, projects running and uh, you have to kind of change uh, to a different port to accommodate this application or something like that so for that uh, uh, we, we can specify uh, let's say the port and uh, if any other variables or anything at all uh, you can also do that uh, if okay now this uh, assuming that you have uh, like you're not you're not working with ES6 now if you're using ES6 you have to consider something else I'll, I'll cover that in some different video maybe okay now uh, here we are specifying that is a production version and uh, the port let's say we give triple uh, double nine double zero and uh, PM2 start uh, and, and uh, we, we specify bin slash triple w basically when you start uh, uh, when you perform npm start whatever the uh, file path we specify there the same one you kind of put it here so with that uh, you will notice that pm2 registered our application and it gave an id of zero and a name so using this you can kind of view what all are the details and other set of logs against it so we do pm2 or so and the name or id either one uh, you'll be able to see 
the basic details so it kind of gives you and and we specified the production version right so that also uh, gets added to it so it says it's currently active and these are the error path or uh, basic output path so you can kind of uh, do a nano and then see what all are the details against it okay now we uh, specified a port which is double nine or uh, double zero so you can do a simple curl uh, and see if that is running okay so let's say uh, our port double nine double zero is working we can use the same IP address and add the port to see if the same is working if at all you have a uh, um, disabled any port or this or firewall you might want to consider changing or allowing this port okay so i will try to use the users uh, route fine so let's assume uh, okay now we can we are, we are confirmed that unless everything is working fine and all that bit but the problem here is our uh, uh, url is referring to the port now we don't want to expose our port uh, if, you, if you are okay with the fact that your port is being uh, exposed that's fine but if say you, you are passing uh, a domain so you you certainly uh, want the uh, primary name to be visible uh, so let's say api.xyz instead of api.xyz.com um, colon uh, the port so to do that we navigate to the sites available directory uh, basically slash etc nginx on sites available uh, for the time being i'm just showing you a default config uh, you can uh, look up for my other videos where i have detailed out other things uh, like detailed completely how you can configure uh, for now let's just look at this location uh, which is basically home location so what i want is it i want it to use uh, my uh, double nine double zero port so for that i'll just use a directive which is basically proxy pass that is available in nginx proxies underscore pass and specify the port along with the local host um, uh, kind of uh, basically specify local host colon double nine double zero so it's listening internally and exposing out with a different uh, server name so if you notice uh, it's a good approach to kind of test the configuration for which we use nginx hyphen t so that's a, that's an error now if you notice it carefully there's a semicolon which is missing save and uh, perform it again okay now it's all good restart the server restart fine let's go back and uh, refresh with a uh, default normal ip address so with the normal ip address uh, it's working fine right so we don't need to specify the port id in the second part of this video i will show you how you can uh, run a es6 project directly without converting using babel and other bits and uh, use git to upload your projects Please like the video and subscribe my channel so that uh, it can it motivates us to make more such videos and help you in a fashion we can.